This project has a lot in common with Bitcoin, but is it any better? And is it actually the future of crypto? Let's look into Caspa and let's do some price analysis after the fundamentals. What is Caspa? Well, in short, it's another layer one blockchain. However, compared to most of it, it's quite different. And mainly because this is a proof of work blockchain. You don't see that many new projects that are launching a brand new blockchain that is a proof of work. And right away, this is something that Bitcoin and only a few other coins have. And I think by itself, it could be a really nice narrative. But we're going to talk about the narratives and my plans for this a little bit later in the video. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to share that if you want more access to all of my educational content, my research, all of my trades, I do quite a lot of tradings on smaller cap coins, also on ordinals on Bitcoin, and of course, all the majors out there. I've created a Frentech account, which is still relatively cheap. Maybe by the time you watch this, I hope it won't be that cheap. But pretty much everything I provide and I know I'm sharing with the people in there. And of course, if you have any questions, that would be the easiest way to reach me. So here are some invite codes if you are not already on Frentech. And I'll see you in there. The technology behind it, it's very interesting. And actually, this is one of the first things that I really like about this project. The so-called block DAC that they're using is very interesting and it allows for the blockchain to complete transactions super fast. And I mean multiple transactions per second, which Bitcoin is far away from this. And technically speaking, this is something that if we are going to see adoption of the blockchain network overall, we need stuff like this. And that's what they're actually basing their whole thesis that Caspa is such a project that could have a widespread adoption and it could handle the workload of doing multiple transactions per second. And that is great. I'm not going to get uh, a lot into detail of what exactly is Ghost DAC. Uh, I'm going to link below the white paper. If you're really tech savvy, you can jump into it and read through it. But in short, this is a technology that even Vitalik, the creator of Ethereum, has recognized as something very powerful. And it's definitely one of the strong suits of this project. Together, of course, with the creator, because he's a really smart dude. And by the looks of it, a lot of people in the industry respect him. The second thing that I really like are in general the tokenomics. And as I said, this project has a lot in common with Bitcoin. And together with the proof of work, the tokenomics are quite similar. Of course, they have difference that we're going to discuss now. But in general, they have a decreasing inflation schedule. And this was a fair launch. So there are no VCs. Nobody owns a bunch of tokens. And the miners are pretty much the ones that are mining the tokens. And currently, actually, you can even see in a lot of detail what you can expect expect in the coming months and years until all of the tokens are mined pretty much and you can see this plan for the next 15 years or so here also on this tool you can see the emissions and exactly how much are the rewards for the miners they start with 440 cas and every month or so this is decreasing and pretty much for a year there's a, always a 50 percent decrease in the supply so you can see here a year later the mining rewards were halved and this keeps happening every year currently the rewards are around 164 cas and you can see that the next reduction is here so they're pretty much doing it linearly so 50 percent cut every year but every month pretty much this is proportionally cut so there's a decreasing inflation and you can see that for tokenomic side this is probably one of the best things that you can have and also you can see that the total supply is close to 21 billion already out of the total 20 almost 9 billion cash so all of this is in circulation It's 73 percent are already mined and i really like this you know there are not that many back holders because this is also a brand new project and we're going to see this on the chart a bit later and even the distribution within the wallets is crazy i wanted to show you this but here on the top 1000 addresses we have around 60 percent of the circulating supply and usually if you look into a shit coin that is on ethereum or something usually this is more than 85 to even 90 percent especially if vcs are involved and they hold a lot of the tokens and if you scroll here you can see which are the bigger addresses and this is kucoin gate max you know these are all the exchanges that have listed this but they own like three or four percent each so th these are not huge numbers usually what you can see here is a treasury that you know people consider that the project it's 
itself are going to unlock at some point in order to finance themselves um, and usually you see exchanges having a lot more percentages on those tokens but here definitely not the case and something that i really like when it comes to distribution something else that i really like is overall the communication uh, in caspa they're fairly launched product so they don't have a bunch of money to invest in marketing however they're still doing a quite good job and here on their medium you can see a lot of articles same story is you know this is on their discord and also on twitter they i see a lot of activities a lot of amas a lot of actually local meetings that they do all over the world and that is impressive you know this for me is like a community driven project it's not driven by the big boys and really if the narrative for this one the proof of work you know and the good tokenomics gain speed i can definitely see with this type of communication that this project will be successful in the future and actually it's been already quite successful we're going to look into this but before this i wanted to show you a quite a few things that i also don't really like about this project the first major concern is that this is yet another blockchain we have so many of them already that i'm losing track yes caspa is trying to innovate it's a bit different it's proof of work and so on so but really i mean i there's so many blockchains already out there and each one of them is solving a problem and it's much better than everybody else but in reality they're missing a key component and that's actually one problem and the component in the case of caspa are actually two components first this is a brand new blockchain that doesn't have that many users and you can pretty much do nothing with it you know you just have to adapt yourself uh, uh, install a new wallet in order to be able to buy and store your caspa and that's it there's not much else that you can do it there's no infrastructure there's no system and is this really a better way to store your money than if you place them into bitcoin i'm not completely convinced just yet you know i, I will need to see a lot more things and when it comes to users which i think is the next major problem with caspa it, it's there it's just not there okay they have a lot of nodes i don't have doubts personally that the network itself is in an issue when it comes to an attack from miners and so on however when we look into the active addresses you know for the past 90 days or so on average there's been like even a decline i don't know what the hell happened here i didn't find any information but on average on a given day it's been like 15,000 active ad addresses and that is really insignificant i have more people in my neighborhood than this and here we're talking about a global blockchain and when it comes to transactions again same thing like 100,000 transactions per day not, not really significant i would say and the worst of this two graphs is that there hasn't been movement you know they're they're not going up they're not going down nothing is pretty much happening so for me this means that although they do a lot of things in order to push this network is the adoption is just not there and that's completely normal because there's nothing to do on this blockchain yet and yes there are plans that they're gonna launch some kind of a layer two and on it you'll be able to have smart contracts and so on and so on so something like ethereum and then uh different dApps could be built and so on, and so on. but again will people adjust to this and will they say that it's the mother chain and then you know i'm really struggling to find a bullish case fundamentally for this token this of course doesn't mean that it's not going to run that's a completely different story and we're going to talk about it in just a second but the last thing that i really don't like about this is the valuation currently it sits at around one billion dollars and although there's been a good reason with you know the tokenomics and stuff i think that's too high you know uh, currently just for perspective solana which is one of the biggest blockchains out there and has much more adoption it's at around 10 billion market cap and if this gets to this level just purely on speculation that's a 10x and that's fine you know it's not a small return at all however i believe that there will be better 10x opportunities with lower risk because this one also doesn't have a great exchange diversification you know this could be considered also as a plus because maybe uh, big boys will list this and there will be more liquidity and we'll be able to see the price rise again but when it comes to price and to my plan i'm not really sure i want to be accumulating this i think it could be a really nice trading vehicle because as you can see here the chart is one of the cleanest charts i've seen through the bear markets of 2022 and 2023 this was launched somewhere in september 2022 so already for a year this has been clearly higher highs and higher lows however from the lows here this has run already 
quite a lot it's like almost 2000 percent so this is huge gains and whoever got early into this congratulations that that is great for you however i'm looking at, at this chart as a trader and we're currently at an all-time high place that potentially is shaping for another breakout right here you know it's really clean in my opinion we had a fake out but then we didn't fade into oblivion we continue having higher highs higher lows here and now we're banging at this door and i can definitely see this breaking out and having uh, more gains in the future uh, however how much more i mean do you see another 5x from here maybe if you just uh, are for smaller targets you know uh, maybe if we pull some extensions here and have some targets maybe for a quick trade like to the hundred percent extension is like 25 percent and 64 percent to the 1618 but really <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I want to be trading this with the exchange diversification, the lower volumes that we have and everything that we have discussed. It's a hard pick. OK, maybe if we see something like this, you know, maybe if this holds or we have a false breakout and then it comes back and then stabilizes somewhere in this area, you know, and reaccumulates before a potential big crypto bull market maybe i could be interested into this depending on what other projects are doing that i'm looking into this is around 40 percent down so this means the valuation here will be around 600 million still quite steep but also the crazy thing that might happen here and i think this should not be underestimated because it's definitely a probability because this is a proof of work blockchain it's relatively safe the sec has come out and said that bitcoin is not a security and technically because of the way that this is mined this caspa token could also be considered in the same graph and if the sec comes out and says that for example ethereum is a security and we have a whole lot of stuff happening in the crypto market maybe long term this could be a good play if we really believe in crypto and that's obviously not gonna die but projects like this are rare and i think this is the strongest narrative in favor of caspa the tokenomics and the narrative behind the proof of work that's everything for this video guys uh, i hope you like this analysis if you don't that's fine still leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you in the next one